Hi, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who know me, you know that I love to make fondant cakes. So today I went on a little scavenger hunt looking for the perfect vintage floral cake stand. Problem with that is that most cake stands alone are $20 to $30. So vintage, forget about it. So I got a little crafty and I headed over to my favorite dollar store and I made my very own vintage floral cake stand. And it was only about $5 and super simple to make. If you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. Okay, so you're going to start by assembling your stand. Grab your E6000 and put it on the rim of one candlestick. Then place the other candlestick on top and set it aside to dry overnight. And that's your stand. Now grab your serving tray and flip it to the back side. You want to make sure that any design or spray paint is on the back side so it's food safe. While your spray paint dries, we're going to work on our lace. Grab some liquid stiffener and start pressing it into the lace. Make sure that you're getting every bit of the lace. If you don't know how to make liquid stiffener, you can watch my video on lace crowns. Now flip your lace over and repeat the process to the back side. Press the product in really well so that there's not excess product covering the holes in the lace. Make sure it dries overnight. This will ensure that it's nice and stiff so it's easier to work with. When your spray paint is dry, you can assemble a tray. Flip the tray on its backside and grab your E6000. Apply it to the rim of your stand and then put your stand on top of the tray to dry. Ta-da! To add a design, grab some napkins with a print that you like and peel off the back layer very carefully. Then cut out the designs that you like. Take your cutouts, position them where you'd like on the tray, then grab your Mod Podge and a brush. Move your roses over to the side and apply a thin layer of Mod Podge. Then grab them and place them exactly where you want them and let them dry. Once that's dry, grab your brush and go over the design with more Mod Podge and then over the entire dish. If this is a dinner dish, you do not do this. You would Mod Podge the roses face down on the back side and then spray paint. This is to make sure it's food safe. After the Mod Podge was completely dry, I glued my lace. Remember, it's really easy to work with because you used your liquid stiffener. And that's all it took. $5 and you've got a perfectly vintage cake stand. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any Pinterest projects for me to try, please comment below.